Oh, hey everyone, what's up? Welcome. This is it's like one of the smartest ideas I've ever had. Freaking stand up when I record this thing. Where have I been for the last three years? This is like the smartest thing ever. Um, I mean, I guess maybe when I'm back upstairs, I'll sit down. But like, dude, this is like is this is way better than sitting on the floor. I think you can't really sit on the floor for that long. It gets so uncomfortable. In the meantime, I think this could be really good. <sighs> All right, friends, this is amazing. Oh, this is incredible. I could like do anything. This is incredible. Wow. How you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud today. We're setting Daf Kuf Daf 104 of Misech Subis. Friends, I'm standing today. Smartest thing I've ever done. All right, so we're going to start in Daf Kuf Dalit Aleph at the Mishnah. We're like kind of towards the end of the Mishnah already. Um, so here we, of, of the daf or like, yeah, I don't know. We're like at the middle sized lines. There's a Mishnah. Mastis and Kol Zman Shi Bevez Avia Govuk Zubasa Le Olam. Okay. So as long as she's by her father's house, right? So if uh, they get divorced and then, oh uh, no, uh, if, if the husband dies and then she goes back to her father's house, so she can collect her Ksuba forever at any time. Kol Zman Shi Bevez Baila Govuk Zubasa Esim Vuchame Shonim. Um, but if she's living at her husband's house, at her late husband's house, so then she can only collect the ksuba for up to 25 years, not after that. After that, she basically, you know, just uh, gives up on it. it, it she, she forfeits it. This is the opinion of a mayor in the name of Shem Gamliel, that it's because over the course of 25 years, you know, as Rashi says, she gives a little bit of salt to this neighbor, a little bit of that to somebody else, you know. So, you know, cumulatively over 25 years, she'll end up um, um, kind of giving away from the estate the equivalent of her ksuba. Um, and, but, you know, so that's only though if she's living at her husband's house, but if she goes back home, that's irrelevant, and therefore she can collect forever. As long as she's in her husband's house, she can always collect her ksuba. But if she's by her father's house, meaning if she's by her late husband's house, she can collect it any time. But if she's by her father's house, she can only collect for 25 years. Um, but after that, you know, she's not living in her husband's house and she um, hasn't collected the ksuba or anything like that. So then um, so then um, she kind of has uh, given up on it. This is amazing. I could walk around while I'm recording. It's incredible. Um, fine. Mesa Yosha Maskirin Ksubasa ad Esim And if she passes away, so then her uh, those who inherit her can um, they have up till twenty five years to uh, say, Hey, we want to collect our mother's ksuba. Omele Abayla of Yosef says Abayta of Yosef, Ania Shabi Solad ad Esim Vhomishonim Umarta Bas Baisus ad Esim Vhomishonim. Abay asked of Yosef says, I don't understand. It's just twenty five years no matter what, no matter if she's poor or no matter if she's like super wealthy and therefore she's in no rush to collect the ksuba. You know, if it's Martabas Baisus, right? You know, one one of the uh, a, a very uh, wealthy women. So then, did we say that Martabas Baisus was it her husband who she like paid? I think so. She like paid said he'll become coin goggle. I think. Anyway, so if she gets divorced, you know, if if she becomes a widow, so then and she's got all the money in the world and twenty five years she doesn't need the ksuba for twenty five years and therefore she hasn't asked for it. But, but, you know, does that mean that uh, she gets, right, no matter, meaning if you're a poor person and you need the money and still you didn't ask for it, so clearly you're forfeiting it. But it may, but if you're Marta Bas Baisus, you're not asking for it because you don't need it, but you didn't necessarily forfeit it. So, you know, is it the same for everybody? So, Amar Leilu from Gemala Shichonu. So, if Yosef says no, you know, based on the strength of the animal, that's how much, of the camel, that's how much load we put on it, i.e., everybody's different. Based on how much uh, financial resources they have, that's the length of time that they have um, to collect the ksuba. Uh, so they ask the kasha, according to a mayor, um, so according to a mayor who says that the reason why you have 25 years when she's living at um, um, the late husband's house is because over that time she'll end up giving a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So what if she collects the ksuba after 10 years? Do we say, well, over those 10 years, you know, you must have given away 
you know, this amount of stuff. So just like after 20 years, she basically forfeits her ksuba because she gave away the value of her ksuba during this time. What if it's, you know, 10 years? Do we subtract 10 years worth of givings away? So we say, take uh, we say, And the Chachomim say that as long as she's in her late husband's house, she can uh, collect it forever. But if she goes back to her father's house, then she only has till 25 years. Omele Abayi of Yosef. Abayi of Yosef. I don't, so tell me this. Asoy the kodem shkia sachamo. Govek suba sulach shkia sachamo lo gabyo. So, 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 Abayi says of Yosef, I don't understand. If when 25 years is up, and before Bein uh, Hashmoshes of the 25th year, she says, hey, I want my ksuba. She gets it, but if, you know, a, a, a little bit later, after Bein Hashmoshes, all of a sudden, no, 25 years up, you can't uh, collect it anymore. It's just like that. You know, she can collect her entire ksuba until Shkia of the 25th year. If she comes right after Shkia, you lose it. So, Amalei um, in. So, if Yosef says, that's exactly it. Called Midas Chachamim. When it comes to the measures of the rabbis, Keni, uh, it's exactly like this. By Boim saw a tovel. That look, you know, if you, if you, if you jump into a mikvah that has 40 saw, uh, of, of rainwater in it, so, so, so then you're pure. Baba'im saw a chaser kortov, but if it's lacking even a kortov, any yocholit bo'men, but you can't go into them. Kilu, there are rules. And uh, it's not like what, just because a little bit uh, change doesn't make a difference? Of course it makes a difference. And therefore, yeah, if she gets there before shkia, she can chap it If she comes after shkia, she's no chapping around. Amr of Yehuda, Amr Rab. Hey, Rabbi Shmob, Rabbi Yossi, Lifnei Rabbi. Shom Shumoviv. Okay, so it says if you don't name of Rab, the Rabbi Shmob Rabbi Yossi said before Rabbi, the Rabbi Shmob Rabbi Yossi was quoting his father Rabbi Yossi, Lo Shanu Ela Shein Shtar Ksube Yotze Mitachas Yodea. Now, this when we say that there's only uh, you can only collect up to 25 years, that is only if she doesn't have the Ksube anymore. Avo Shtar Ksube Yotze Mitachas Yodea. But if she has the Ksube, Kovak Subas Lo Olim, she can always collect. She can always collect the Ksube if she has the document. She doesn't have a document, and that's where there's a machlokus. Rabbi Lozer, Omar, but Rabbi Lozer says, Afilu ksube yotzi mitachas yodea. No, even if she has the ksube, the physical document, enogove elo ad esim v'chom mishonim, she can only collect for 25 years, even with the ksube. Mosev, Rav Sheshes, Rav Sheshes as Akasha. As Akasha and Rabbi Shmob Rabbi Yossi, who says that um, the machlokus is when they uh, don't have uh, the document. When she doesn't have a document. So, Balchov Gova Shelo Baz Karit. So, so we, I guess we have a Bryce that says that a creditor is able to collect a loan, 25, right? So, if Shimon borrowed $1,000 from Ruven and Ruven waits 25 years, he could still collect it even 25 years later, even if he hasn't mentioned it the whole time. Hey, Chidami, now what's this case? Now, if the, the creditor doesn't have a document. My gubby. I, he shows up without a document after 25 years and says, Oh, I, by the way, I want my $1,000. Uh, <laughs> how can he collect? No, we're saying that he has a document and that's why he can collect after 25 years. And Davka, by a creditor who gave up something, he gave up $1,000 and he wants to get it back. But a widow, Achilta. But a will, widow who didn't actually like invest, you know, like didn't give away money. So then if it's been 25 years, and she hasn't said anything, even with a document, then um, even with a document. So then, so then, so then she would be, um, um, even with the document, so then she would be mochel, right? I think the kasha there is therefore on Rabiosi, who had said that after 25 years, she can always collect. So who most of love, who um, but then Reb R- R- Sheish just answers the question. The olam dilo no 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 no. It's actually talking when we say that the creditor can collect. It's actually that he does not have a document. Um my skin on here. What are we talking about? Kishachayev mode. It's talking about where the um, you know Shimon admits that yeah, I do owe the thousand dollars. Okay, and in that case, so then so then yeah, by a creditor. Um, he would get the money, but by a, um, but by a, um, um, but by right. So, this, so there's no there's no document. So in that case, she would not get it. But if there was a document, then but then she would get it always. 
V'amr Rabbi Ilah, but didn't Rabbi Ilah say, Shonen Grusha Arei Kebal Chov? But Rabbi Ilah says that a divorcee is like a creditor. Hey Chidami, what's that talking about? Idilon Akita Ksuba, if she doesn't have the Ksuba, my Gabi, then what's she collecting with? So Ela Lav the Nikita Ksuba, she must have a Ksuba. Ugrusha U Delav Bas Achulei He. And Davka, a Grusha, um, who's not going to, to you know, she, she's not going to um, be Mochel, because she wants to get her Ksuba. Ha'amona, but not mona, even with Aksuba, eh, achilta, she'll, she'll be mocha, she won't, eh, uh, collect, uh, you know, she'll, she'll say, look, I don't need Aksuba. So, achonamim b'shechai moda, no, it's also talking about where there's no document, and it's talking about where the, where, I guess, the, 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 the estate admits that this, that they haven't paid the Aksuba. Um, okay, fine. Okay, so, so, Bishmal, but Rabbi Yossi says in Rabbi Yossi that the machlokas is only when there's no Aksuba, but if there is Aksuba, so then she can always collect. Whereas Rabbi Lazar says, no, even if she has the Aksuba, um, it's still a machlok, uh, it's still, um, so yeah, so there's still this, uh, machlokas about, um, right, 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 that whether she can collect, um, you know, it depends if she's at her father's house or if she's at her ex-husband's house and if it's 25 years, that is only, uh, says Rabbi Lazar, that's even if she has the document. Mishma Rabbi says it's only if she doesn't have a document, if she has a document, she can always collect. Fine. Amr Vnachm Bar Yitzchak says Vnachm Bar Yitzchak Tani Rav Yehuda Bar Kaza Rav Yehuda Bar Kaza taught the Masnisa Teve Bar Kaza in the I guess Brisa of the Beis Medrash of Bar Kaza. Okay, Tavak Subasa if she um, claimed her Ksuba, Hare he Kibatchila. So then, uh, so if she asked for a Ksuba, so then the clock resets for another twenty-five years. From Hoya Shtar Ksuba Yotze Mitachas Yodel. And if, um, and if she has the, um, ksuba, gova ksuba sala olam, then she can always collect her ksuba, like Rabbi was saying. Sholach le Rav Nachum bar Rav Chizda le Rav Nachum bar Yaakov, Yilam denu Rabbeinu, teach us, kishishtar ksuba, yotim tachas yodo machlokes. Do we say that the machlokes, right, it's like Rabbi Lazar, that the machlokes is when the, Shtar ksube, right there, right there, even when there is the, the ksube. O kshein shtar ksube yotze mitachas yodo, or is the machlokas when there is no ksube. Ve halacha kedivrei mi, and who is the halacha like? Is it like Rav Meir, or is it like the Chacham, right? Is, is it that she has 25 years when she's at her husband's house, or is that she only has 25 years when she's uh, by her father's house? So shalach lei, so Rav Nachman bar Yaakov sent back to Rav Nachman bar Rav Chizda, v'shein shtar ksube Yotze mitachas yoda machlokas. The machlokas is when she doesn't have the ksube. Aval shtar ksube yotze mitachas yoda gov ksube basa laolam. But if she has the document, she can collect forever like Rabbi Yossi. Eh, and the halacha And the halacha is like the rabbis that when she's at her ex-husband's house, she can collect forever. If she's at her father's house, she can't collect after 25 years. Kiyosu of dimi omer b'shim ben pazi omer b'shu ben levi b'shum bar kapar. That what we're saying that after 25 years she cannot collect. That's only the you know mana masaim, the base of the baseline ksube. But she can always collect it tosef as that's a gift from the husband to the wife. She can always collect that. Rebbeo Amr Reb Yochanan, I feel tosef is einla. That Rebbeo says the name Reb Yochanan. No, it's the it's the it's it's the whole package that right that she can't collect the baseline. She can't collect the additions, the tosef none of it. Amr Reb Ivo Amr Reb Yane. Tanai ksube kichsube dami that the tanai ksube that the that the that the tosefes is be, is considered like the like the regular part of the ksube and therefore if she can't collect after twenty five years the regular ksube then she can't collect the um, tosefes either it marnami it was oich it stated amar babam rav huna amar rab the rav says name rav huna the name of rab lo shanu ela mona masayim that's only the baseline aval tosefes yeshlo but there is the tosefes she can collect the tosefes amar uh, le Rabbi says to Rafuna, Amr Avachi, did Rav really say this? That it's only the baseline, but not the Tosefes? Amr Lei, Ishtikon Karmets? Rafuna says to Rabbi Abba, I don't understand, what are you saying? Are you saying, you're trying to silence me? You're saying that I'm being an idiot? Or Ashkayan Karmets? Or are you saying, no, I'm so in love with what you're offering that I would love to give you wine to drink? Amr Lei, Ishtikon Karmina. Rabbi Abba is saying, I'm telling you to be quiet. Wow. That's super intense. Rav Abba saying that to Rav Huna. Rav Huna, you don't mess, I mean, Rav Huna was the great Rav Huna, student of Rav. Rav Abba was, I think, maybe a student of Rav Huna. Super interesting that he would say to Rav Huna, like, keep quiet. That's really interesting. 
Chamse de Rebchia Aricha Intas Achva Ava. You hear this? Rebchia Aricha's mother in law was also his sister in law. Head explode. Yuvamis. What? Shnikes. All right. Uh, okay, his mother in law, I guess he was married to his niece, right? His brother's wife, his brother and his wife had a daughter, and Rabbi Aricha married her, so then his sister in law is also his mother in law. Well, that's exciting stuff. Anyways, and uh, Rabbi Aricha's brother passed away, and, uh, and um, his mother in law was now um, living by her father, by her own father. And because her husband was dead, so then, um, I guess, Rebchia Aricha inherited his brother. And then, um, yeah, okay. And then now, like the whole Ksuba situation with his sister-in-law, who's also his mother-in-law. And Rebchia Aricha paid for, or supported her for 25 years. Bevei Nasha. Um, at her at her father's house, the sof Amra lay, and then after twenty five years, she says to Rabbi Aricha, "Have li mizoni, okay? I want mizonis." Omar la, and Rabbi Aricha says to her, "Leis lach mizonis, you don't get mizonis anymore." Have li ksube, and then she says to Rabbi Aricha, "Give me my ksube." Omar la, and Rabbi Aricha says, "Lo mizone islach, v'lo ksube islach." No, you don't get mizonis now after twenty five years, and you don't get. So she brought him to a bezdin. And the judge was right before Rabbi Barshila. Omar lay. Emily easy. And Rabbi Barshila says, Tell me exactly what happened. Omar lay. And Rabbi Aricha says, I supported her for 25 years. I supported her for 25 years. I'm telling you, I, I, I would schlep on my shoulders. All of this food to her father's house for 25 years. And she never said anything about the ksuba. Oh, now all of a sudden she wakes up. Omar lay. And Rabbi Bashila says to Rabbi Aricha, Look, time of my Omar Rabbonon, Kozman Shibi Beis Baila, Gova Ksuboso, the Olam. How come the rabbi said that as long as she's by her ex husband's house, she can always collect her ksuba? We say, well, because the reason why she hasn't yet collected the ksuba at her ex-husband's house is because she's embarrassed, right? She's living there. She's benefiting from the estate. She doesn't feel right asking for the, for, 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 for the, for the ksuba. But it's not because she doesn't want it. It's because she feels uncomfortable asking for it. It's because she felt uncomfortable. You were schlepping the mizonis all this time. You know, she didn't feel comfortable asking for the ksuba. But the fact of the matter is that she didn't relinquish it. Zil havla. Therefore, Rebchia Aricha, um, pay your mother-in-law, sister-in-law, the, um, her ksuba. Lo ashkach, Rebchia Aricha did not listen. Kosov la, a, a, so, 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 Rav, so, Rav Barshila wrote a, a bill of seizure against Rebchia Aricha's, uh, property. Also, the Kamid Rava, so Rebchia Aricha comes before Rava, Omar lay, Chazimar hechi donon, and Rabbi Aricha says to Rava, "Do you see what Rav, uh, what 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 uh, Rabbi Bashila? You see what he what he what he what he judged? What he what he what he verdicated, verdicted, 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 verdictified." Amalei Shapir Doncha, and uh, Rava says, "No, he's right. He verdictedified good." Amalei, so then. Um, um, Rabbi Aricha's mother-in-law, sister-in-law, says to Rav, "Yachi lezil lahader um, li peri demina uyoma adaidna." So she says, "Well, in that case, I want to get you know if if I can get my ksuba, I also want to get back any fruits that he's eaten um, since the day of the document the, that the document of seizure was written." Omar lo. So Rav says, "Well, before I say this, achvi li." Adarchtich, show me this letter of seizure. Chazei de lo hava kasuv ba vishtamudaina de nechosim elu de misono inun. And he noticed that there was a mistake in the document of seizure that uh, it did not say that the uh, property that we are talking about that can be seized are davka the property of the deceased. Right? It's, it says in the document that any 
of Rupchia Aricha's property can be um, seized, but that's not actually true. It's only the property that he inherited from his brother. Omar Lo Adarta Lav Shapir Ksiva and Rav says to 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 the mother in law sister in law that the that this document of seizure isn't properly written. Amrle she says to Rav, okay, so Tezel Arichta, so forget about the document of Caesar Ishkol Mioma Dishleme Yoma Achrazda Arashta. So let me at least get the value of the fruits that were eaten from you know after right there was this document of seizure and then they had this uh, announcement that this property was going to be sold. So at least you know and that's for thirty days. So after that period, let me let me collect any fruits that were eaten since then. Oh my Lord, Rav says to her, We would only be able to do that if there was no mistake in the document. But where there's a mistake in the document, we can't do that. She says to Rav, But you said, right? If there's a document, right, a loan document that doesn't say anything about being able to collect from the Chosim Shubadim, that's treated as a mistake, right? And, and you can still collect from the Chosim Shubadim. So... So let's do the same thing over here. Let's say even though there's a mistake, uh, you know, let's um, let's let, let let's right. Uh, we should still be able to 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 assume that we could still collect based on this document. So Omar La Rava Rava says to her, "Behold, lekelimemetau sofer." You here, you can't say that it's the mistake of the of the of the fellow who wrote it. You can't say that it's just a mistake of the fellow who wrote it. Tibah afilu rabba bashila because here it, it wasn't just the, the the scribe who made a mistake. It's the um, it's Rabbi bashila himself made a mistake. Meikara who saw initially Rabbi bashila thought hani vahani dide. Look at the end of the day, um, um, Aricha um, inherited his brother. So at this point, all of the property, whether it came initially from his brother, whether it's his own, they're all his now. So mali meani, mali meani. What's the difference if somebody collects from um, the brother's fields or from his own fields? Veloi, um, but that's not actually true because Zimnin te azlo mishabcha lehu udevaila me mechasve. Because what might happen is that she'll go and she'll make the 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 property that happens to belong to the brother uh, to Rebchi Aricha, and she'll make that property better. And her ex-husband's, right, her late husband's property, she'll, she won't get, pay attention to, and they'll get worse. And then he, uh, right, the brother will say, um, you take your stuff from your late husband, and I'll take my stuff. And, right, because if you have the document that says, right, so we can't just assume that, um, right, that we, right, right, that, right, that, 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 that we can't rely upon this document because if we rely upon this document, then what might happen is that there will be a situation where uh, she'll make um, the brother's property better and not her own property, and then the 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 the, the brother will pull a quick one and says, "Look, you got to keep your property. I keep my property, and his property is now way better than hers." And then people are going to say, "Look what the court did. The court allowed this document that says that it's all the property can be can be, uh, 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 um, you know." Take you know seized and she then made this property better and now she lost out and it's going to look bad for the courts so therefore they say that you can't use this document at all friends that was the Afkuftal Masechta Ksubis hope you enjoyed peace out.